So good evening, everybody. Welcome to our photo bootcamp preview. I'm Mark Komen from Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. And it's my pleasure to host you tonight, to lead you through the classes we have at Creative Photo Academy, and to share with you one of my personal passions, and that's photo bootcamp. I've been leading photo bootcamp since 1988. We've had two to 400 students every year in boot camp for over 30 years. So do the math, how many people that is that have been down the photo boot camp road. Um, many of you have been to photo boot camp or have a friend who's done photo boot camp. And in my opinion, it is the most rocking photo class around. Um, I have friends who've taken university classes, community college classes, you know, two years at wherever, and they say they learn more in six weeks in photo boot camp than they did with two years in university. So what do you got to say about that, Joy? I, I can't say enough about it. I mean, it's just, it's the best. And for those of you who are ranked beginners, it will be a challenge. But one of the things to remember that if you're the lowest person in the class, you're going to learn the most of anybody in the class. And it's going to be a challenge and it's going to be hard work. And is that worth it? Absolutely. All right. So if there's no other questions, I'm going to turn it. So Sandy and, and Joaquin, if you guys have questions, go ahead and type those into the chat. And, and Susan and Joy will help me with those. I'm going to share my screen. So Susan, can you see the slideshow coming up here? Yes, I can see it. Hold on. This is the only thing I don't like about Zoom is this part is really clunky. So can you see me OK? Are we good? Awesome. So I want to welcome you guys to Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. We're so honored to have you joining us today. You know, Paul's Photo is a retail camera store in Torrance, California. Come on. Hold on. There we go. And we try to be the best camera store that we can be. And we really work hard to earn your business to be the best place to buy a camera. But we're here tonight to talk about how to learn to use that camera. You know, and everything we do at Paul's Photo, whether it's the lab where we print your pictures or Creative Photo Academy where we help you learn about it or Paul's Photo where we buy the camera stuff is all about customer service, community and sustainable business. And I can tell you that we really live by this. You know, we work hard to earn your business and be the best place to buy a camera. We've built this amazing community, you know, with hundreds and hundreds of award winning photographers who call us family and friends. And we've built a sustainable business where even in these dark times, I mean, we're not doing great. I mean, I'm not buying a new car, but we're not going out of business either. And we're gonna be here for you to be the place where you can come and relax and enjoy and share and be creative and grow and get better because this community rocks. This community is fantastic. The people are amazing. We have so much fun and we make such great pictures together. I just really want you to, I want to invite you to be involved in this. So over the last couple of weeks, we've had the previews for two, four of the advanced classes. Last night we did the intermediate photography class and tonight we're doing boot camp. You'll get an email from me tomorrow with the links to all of these recordings. So if you want to go check out the other previews, you're welcome to do that. So at Creative Photo Academy, we have lots of classes, but the, the, the core photo boot camp, our beginning photography class, six lessons for rank beginners, people who just got a camera. I know there's some of you out there tonight who just got your camera for Christmas and you barely know which end to look through. That's whose photo boot camp is before. There are some of you who've had a camera and used it for years and now want to build confidence. That's what photo boot camp is all about. Then we do the intermediate photography classes, five lessons. We'll talk about those in a little bit. And once you get familiar with all the technical aspects, we graduate to advanced photography. So all of the classes are live online gatherings, just like this. Now, tonight, you guys have your video and your audio blocked because we expect a real big crowd. 
But when we have our regular class, you guys will be in a regular Zoom meeting where ever we'll see everybody on camera. If you don't want to be on camera, that's fine. You can speak. Um, and it's all part of it because we want these live communities. We want to help everyone get together. They're recorded so that you can review them at a later date. And all of the classes at Creative Photo Academy are based on our model of lesson to learn, assignment to practice, and image review to reinforce and answer your questions. So yes, in Photo Bootcamp, you'll have an assignment before the first lesson. You're gonna have an assignment every week. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be fun, and it will change your life. So I teach the photo boot camp. We'll talk more about photo boot camp in a minute. But the basis of photo boot camp is three things. Learning the camera controls, learning the technical rules in photography, and learning to be creative. So that's what boot camp is about. Six lessons. Um, it's a challenge. A lot of people struggle with one or more of the lessons to get it. And but once you get it, you rock and everybody who sticks through it and follows the program gets it. What are the goals of Photo Bootcamp? Number one, to make a difference in your pictures. Number two, to help you build your photo toolkit. Number three, to inspire you to creativity. And number four, to have fun. It's all about the fun and building better pictures because in Photo Bootcamp, we talk every week about the technical triangle and the creative triangle and how that relates to us as photographers. Any questions, Sharon? I mean, uh, Susan? No questions. All right. Come on, guys. If you've got questions, type them into the chat box, please. Intermediate photography, five classes. After you've mastered the boot camp concepts, you move on to intermediate exposure, composition, landscape, flash, portrait, and events to hone your skills. In boot camp, we give you the skills, we practice the skills to hone those schools off to intermediate. Mark Crace teaches intermediate composition, where we talk about five aspects of composition over the four weeks together. Intermediate classes are four weeks. Intermediate exposure, where we talk about getting the light right. Intermediate landscape with Chris Cambra, where we talk about the five rules of landscape photography. Intermediate flash with Bill Balser, where we talk about the five rules of flash photography. Intermediate portrait events with Heather Lacey, where we talk about the five rules of portrait photography. Very important stuff. Once you get done with intermediate and you're technically savvy and technically sound, we move on to advanced photography. In advanced photography, we talk about creativity and ideas and not how to make a picture, but why you make a picture. The Inspirational Images class with Corey Savory, awesome class, where we study three photographers throughout the year. Now, these are 12 week classes. In January, we're studying Annie Leibovitz. In June, Ansel Adams. In September, Dorothea Lang, using their words, their ideas, their pictures to motivate us to give us guidance. Dennis Keeley is going to challenge us with making your next image. Dennis is an amazing guy. I talked to him today. He's uh, the former chair of Art Center School of Design, and he's going to take us through making your next image. A challenge for photographers is what is your next picture going to be? And how is your next picture going to be better than the picture you made today? Jill Sanders and I, Jill is a local um, professional photographer, a fine art photographer. She has a, a gallery, JS Galleries. And we're going to do a class called Expand, Expand, Style Expanding Your Photography. What are your pictures about and how do you relate to your pictures? For 15 years, I've been leading the project group. So we do a project, a photo project, a photo story, 12 months. We start in January, we end in November to present those projects a challenge to the advanced photographer to build a body of work, to start to communicate your ideas and your vision and to tell a visual story. So that's what we do at the Creative Photo Academy. So you guys are here tonight to learn about Photo Bootcamp. So Photo Bootcamp is our basic class. It is the foundation, the building blocks of which all of the other classes are, built, built, are, are made. Six lessons with practice, hard work will make you great pictures. 
So I am your guide. I'm Mark Komen. Um, I've been a certified photographic counselor since 1975. I've been the boot camp leader since 1988. I'm a certified photographic instructor since 1990 and a certified national park guide. So I'm your leader, I'm your guide, and I'm gonna get you from here to there and it will be awesome and powerful. Any questions, Susan? Nothing I couldn't answer. <laughs> awesome. Woohoo! Come on, but bring it on. I want to get challenged here tonight. I want some good questions from y'all. Come on. So everyone asks, so what's included in photo boot camp? So what does your $249 get you? Six live lessons with assignments and review every week. A comprehensive notebook. We talked about the notebook. It's about 100 pages of information. So what you get is the welcome section, which gets you set up in photo boot camp. The assignment section, which tells you how to react and how to do your homework and how to upload your homework and how to crop your pictures and stuff like that. The glossary, a 10 page glossary of photographic terms. So if you don't understand something we say in class, you can go look it up. And then you have the six individual lessons with a tip sheet, the assignment, and a quiz on each and every week so that you really have an opportunity to learn. And that's the secret. So tell them about the quiz, Joy. Why do we do the quiz? Why do we do the quiz? Yeah. Since somebody I'm talking to is the one who insisted that we do the quiz. Well, it just reinforces. It makes you actually reinforce what it is that you're learning. And it, it just it empowers you, in my opinion. Exactly. So the whole thing, gang, is I'll do whatever I have to do to make you learn it or to help you learn it, to facilitate your learning. You know, and that's why we re reinforce the information. You get online access to the videos of the class, the PowerPoint slides and the notes and weekly email questions and answers to make sure that you're comfortable, that you know what's going on, that you feel a part of this amazing community and that boot camp is just gonna rock you and, and get you going. So who are the boot camp students? And it really comes down to three people. Number one, the beginner getting to know your camera. So Doris, you said earlier, oh my gosh, Mark, I just got my camera and I, I wanna learn the buttons. That's who a bootcamp student is. And uh, was it Gino, you asked, do you have a beginner's bootcamp? Well, this is the beginner's bootcamp. This is where you learn your camera. Some of you are more seasoned. You've had your camera for a while and your photography, sometimes you get good pictures and sometimes you don't. Gang, there's no shame in taking bad pictures. We all take bad pictures. And I dare say that I probably take more bad pictures every week than all of you put together. The only shame is in sharing bad pictures and showing bad pictures. So we're gonna work together with the seasoned photographers to learn why this works and why this doesn't work. You know, how do you really use a shutter speed? How do you use an aperture? How does the ISO affect the picture and what we're gonna be do? And then for the more experienced photographers, we're gonna take it to the next level. For those of you who've been shooting for years and you want some discipline and some rules in, in your photography so that you can get better, there's always the creative aspect to boot camp. And honestly, I've had people at all different levels take boot camp over the 30 years we've been doing boot camp, and not one time has anyone come to me and said, "You know, Mark, that was really below me. I, I want out." Some everybody comes in and says, "You know, Mark, I thought I knew a lot, but man, boot camp makes me excited to get out and practice that stuff again." So, what are we going to do in boot camp? We're going to talk about the creative triangle. What is the story? What is the subject? What are the elements in the picture? And how do we use that to make a better picture? And how do we use the technical triangle, shutter speed, aperture, ISO, to make the creative picture happen? And how do we learn to set those or get those set in the camera? Any questions, Susan? Um, no, Joy and I are handling the ones that are that are coming through. Awesome. All right, very cool. <laughs> All right, so what will you learn in lesson number one? 
shutter speeds, ISO lenses. We'll talk about my camera bag. And this is the camera bag I carry around with my Nikon Z7 II, the 24 to 70, 7200, 14 to 30 lens, a 105 millimeter micro lens. We'll talk about your camera and how different cameras operate and how, what's the difference between this camera and that camera. We'll talk a little bit about that. Very little, about 10 minutes in boot camp lesson one about the cameras. Because what we really want to talk about is shutter speeds. And how do we get a fast enough shutter speed to stop the hummingbird's wings? And what setting do you use in the camera to take control of that? Remember gang, for those of you who are in the green auto, that ends on lesson one. No more auto in boot camp. So we're gonna be in program mode, aperture priority mode to get the pictures that we want. We're gonna learn how to control the shutter speed so that we can either stop or blur a picture. And yes, there are great times when we creatively wanna blur a picture. And that's the power of using the shutter speed to control the action. And we're gonna learn how the ISO affects us and using the ISO, like in low light here, like in a cigar factory in Cuba, 25,000 ISO to make an amazing picture. Why do we do that? How do you do that? That's what we'll learn in lesson one in boot camp. And finally, we'll get, learn how to use our lenses and to see our lenses, whether we're shooting a wide angle, a normal or a telephoto lens. And what do those mean? And what do the numbers mean? And how do we use that to make a picture? And then we're gonna have an assignment. You're gonna go out and photograph. You're gonna send me those pictures back. And then next week at lesson two, we'll review what you did in lesson number one for the homework. Any questions, Susan? No questions. Awesome. So what are we gonna learn in lesson number two? Number one, how to visualize your picture, telling your story and composing the picture properly. Lesson two is all about creativity and why you photograph. What kind of pictures do you wanna take? How are you gonna frame the picture? Where are you gonna put the subject and the horizon in the picture? So that our pictures are no longer snapshots, they're meaningful pictures. And if you notice in the upper right-hand corner of this picture, You'll see the technical information about every single picture. In boot camp, about 95% of the pictures you'll see in boot camp. I took all the pictures, but on about 95% of them, you'll see what camera, what lens, what shutter speed, what f-stop, what ISO I use. So that that information is there to help you learn to make better pictures. And finally, in lesson two, how do we compose the image? How do we arrange the image? How do we put the aspects of the picture together to make a fun, coherent, beautiful, amazing photo. Lesson number two. Any questions? No questions. Good. Lesson number three, what are we gonna learn? Controlling the light, metering the midtone, adding and subtracting light because lesson three is called exposure. Ooh. And in lesson number three, we're gonna learn how to make the pictures lighter or darker to taste. Just like when you cook a steak, do you want it rare or well done? We have to choose that with our pictures. And you have the power in your camera to choose how you want the light to be. And whether you want it a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, this is your power. And I will give you that power. I will give you the secret sauce, the magic keys in lesson number three to take this power so that you can make the pictures that you want. It's no longer gonna be about the camera making its pictures. It's gonna be about you making the pictures and what picture do you want? You will be empowered to make great pictures. So in lesson four, any, any questions about lesson three, Susan? No, no questions. So light meter, what are we gonna learn in lesson three? How light metering and the light go hand in hand. Harsh light, soft light, front light, top light, side light, back light, using the light meter to make pictures. That's what we're gonna learn in lesson number four. It's gonna be awesome because we're gonna learn how light and shadow affect the picture and how we control the light and the shadow in our picture to make a beautiful, powerful image and how with just a little bit of thought, in the tools we learned in lesson three, we can make a huge difference in the pictures that we're gonna take and how powerful that is. And we're gonna inspire you to switch from shooting JPEG 
and explore using raw and how that is important to you. And some of you will be ready for that and others of you won't. And that's okay because boot camp is about you and your photography. What can you do? What will you do? What are you going to do? And we'll talk about the histogram and how the histogram affects us in lesson four of photo boot camp. Any questions, Susan? Um, Alita Lee wants to know if the cameras in the is the meters in the camera. So, yes, that those would be. So we're going to learn to use your in camera light meters. We we don't I don't own a light meter anymore. The camera meter is perfectly fine, and but your camera has different ways to light meter, and. Alita Lee, I don't remember what camera you have, um, but your camera has choices in the light meter. We'll explore those choices and how to control them. In lesson five, we're gonna talk about flash, flattering flash and fill flash, narrow focus, medium focus, deep focus. It's gonna be awesome fun to be able to take control of the scene with flash to get the light to be what we want it to be. Control the focus so that you can make the image have the focus that you want to get the focus right and that you can control what the eye sees by how you focus the camera and where you put the focus in the picture. That's lesson number five. Any questions about lesson number five? No. Good. All right. Lesson number six filters for creativity, editing your pictures, and completing the circle. We need filters still, and these are camera filters, not digital filters, not computer filters, to transform the image, to take away light, to reduce reflection, to give us the picture that we want. We'll talk 10 or 15 minutes about filters for better pictures. We'll talk about telling your story and what is the picture, what is the story that you wanna tell? How do you feel about the subject? What light do you wanna put them in? What is the best way to treat different subjects? How are you gonna treat, take different kinds of photography and bring them together, whether it's portraits or landscapes or sports or animals and video and all those cool things we'll talk about in lesson number six. We're gonna talk about the creative circle. And I just wanna spend a minute talking to you about the creative circle. This is something that we take very seriously here at the Creative Photo Academy. And for those of you who came to the advanced previews and the intermediate previews, you heard all of the instructors talk about the creative circle, even though they didn't call it that. So what is the creative circle? Number one, you have an idea. You want to take the picture. How are you going to take the picture? We take the time to pull out the camera, to learn the settings on the camera, to practice and get the picture right. Then we download that picture into our computer. And for many of us, that's where it ends. We need to continue the process and edit the photo. And finally, to print the photo, not just post it on Facebook or Instagram, but to print the photo and then share it with people. Have a human interaction. Make a calendar that hangs up in the living room. Make a greeting card. Make an enlargement for the wall. Make a notebook or, or, or a photo book to share so that we can tell our story because our story is important. You know, realistically, what are you going to leave behind to your children and grandchildren besides the memories, but the pictures and the story of your life? And how important is that? And how can we, especially today, I can't tell you how important pictures have been to me, to my family, to the Creative Photo Academy family, sharing our pictures in these dark days where you don't get out of the house, you don't get to see anybody. But you know what? Suddenly you get a card in the mail that has some pictures in it. Or you, you know, get invited to a Zoom meeting where your friends are showing their pictures from the backyard or you go online and join my be creative series, you know, go to paulsphoto.com, be creative, and you'll get to see the pictures that I photograph every single day and the video, the inspirational video that I produce every single day to help you stay motivated and to help you get going. You know, it's so funny because early on, 
I did a video about some water and oil in a glass and it transformed your life, didn't it, Joy? It definitely did. I'm now videotaping it. You're videoing those now. Yes. So Joy is in the advanced project class and all of our projects got hijacked with COVID because, you know, you, you know, some people were going to Yosemite and some people were doing, you know, the baseball team down the street and all that ended. So Joy re reconnoitered and she did a whole beautiful project and you'll see it during the project video of oil and water in a glass. And believe it or not, she did probably 150 amazing photos of oil and water in a glass. And then she made a book of it to complete the circle. She shared it with the project group to complete the circle. And that's the power of it. And we'll talk about editing our photos in lesson six, how taking a photo is not enough, but we've got to learn the tools. I'm going to give you a few hints on it. I'm going to inspire you to take our Photoshop and Lightroom classes to really learn from Mike. Michael's an amazing instructor and does an awesome job with Photoshop and Lightroom. Because in photo boot camp, you have to remember what we live by. Or Susan, any questions about lesson six? Uh, yes, we had a question. Um, Gary F was wondering how you incorporate lens selection into the class. So we talk about lens selection in lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four, lesson five, and lesson six. And how do I do it? it? Every every way is different. It's a different way to think about it. You know, we talk about perspective in lesson one. We talk about visualization in lesson two. We talk about how the focal length affects the exposure in lesson three. We talk about how the light works with your lenses in lesson four. We talk about depth of field and focal length in lesson five. Did that? Did I answer your question, Gary F? You said. He said yes. Awesome. So one of the premises of photo boot camp is to remember that the photographer is the artist. Your camera is the easel. The sensor is the, then the imaging sensor in your digital camera is the canvas on which you paint your pictures and the lenses are the brushes. And we talk at every single week how important the lenses are. And if you haven't talked to me or if, I, I would invite you to please send me that email. I'll send you the videos. What's in my camera bag and why? And why mirrorless? Why now? And it'll explain a lot of those answers for you. So one of the questions I get and one of the things I really wanted to spend time with tonight is how do you prepare for photo boot camp? So for those of you who've already signed up, You've gotten your confirmation packet. You've gotten your notebook material. And in there, I've been very, I was very specific about what you need to do. You've got to set up your camera. And I haven't, and the next slide shows how I want you to set up your camera for the first lesson. And that may mean that you have to get out the instruction book and learn to work your camera. And everybody wants, well, Mark, I want a photo boot camp just on my camera. Well, we tried that and it was unsuccessful. Why? Because if I show you exactly what to do all the time, you won't learn it. And our goal for photo boot camp is that you learn the material so that you can go forth and make pictures. It's not about making great pictures in boot camp. Really, I, I would rather see you do silly technical pictures to learn the camera then make great pictures in boot camp because when you go on vacation when we get to go on vacation when you go to a birthday party a wedding that's when you want to make great pictures and i want boot camp to empower you with the tools to make great pictures so we're going to learn to set up our camera so we get familiar with the knobs and buttons on our cameras i want you to take 200 photos a day so what do you mean by that go for a walk go around the neighborhood if you're still at work at lunchtime, you know, go out in the plaza, you know, go around the fountain, do whatever and photograph, you know, photograph around the neighborhood, the park, the beach, wherever, and learn to download and look at those pictures and look at the setup. This is the setup I want you to use. P for program mode, ISO 400, matrix meter, 
auto white balance, exposure compensation zero, file format fine JPEG, AF mode continuous, AF area auto. And if you need help with that, you know, we'll be glad to help you here at Pulse Photo. If you have a local camera store, if you're not in the area, if you need a phone call, you know, the guys can help you with this. But we want to get you used to touching and manipulating your camera and changing the settings. Because until you can change the settings, you don't have the power to be creative. And honestly, you can put the camera in automatic and you can take pictures and get lucky, but that's not being creative. I mean, to me, using the camera is analogous to cooking a cake. And when you bake a cake, you just don't take a bowl to the pantry and start shoving ingredients in there. No, you have to think about what kind of a cake do I want? Do I want a chocolate cake or a vanilla cake, a round cake or a square cake? And then you build the, bring the ingredients, the elements together, you assemble them properly, and then put it into that, that box that gets hot for a specific amount of time and specific amount of heat. Photography is exactly the same way. And you can't just put your cake on auto and expect it to come out right. We want you to learn how to make the cake that you want, how to cook the steak that you want, how to get the picture that you want. So we're going to practice with the buttons before, during, and after boot camp. We're going to learn to watch the numbers. We're going to get used to what the shutter speeds and the apertures and the ISOs are doing because you've got to learn the numbers. <clears throat> Do I want you to know what all the shutter speeds and f-stops do before boot camp? No, but I want you to know where they are on your camera so you can start to watch them. So you can begin to find your joy. You can begin to find your excitement. You can begin to be happy with your pictures. And if you're not happy with your pictures, why not? Because what's your goal with photo boot camp? And I ask you in the confirmation packet to think about your goals. What do you want photo boot camp to do for you? And what are you going to do for photo boot camp? And then we can have some fun together. Any questions? All right, I'm going to, so just quickly remember boot camp is the basics, then intermediate advanced. I want to thank everybody. I'm going to stop sharing so that now I can open up the chat. <sighs> Questions from anybody? So the first question I know is, so this is the flyer for photo boot camp. It's online at pulsephoto.com. You'll notice that the June, excuse me, the January boot camp is full. And you know, we have 27 students in a class designed for 25. Um, we're full. So the next boot camp starts on, and so this is Wednesday boot camp. Wednesday boot camp is from 6 to 8:30 in the evening. For some of you who took the live boot camp that used to be at seven o'clock, we moved it up because we have a lot of people from around the country and around the world, the world, and six o'clock is a better time for everybody. So Wednesday boot camp, 6 p.m. The March boot camp is Saturday mornings at eight o'clock. So eight in the morning on Saturdays, eight to 1030, and that will be the March boot camp. So Wednesdays in January, Saturdays in March, Wednesdays in June, Saturdays in July, and Wednesdays again in September. Mark, Good? I've been asked, how do they get the link for the March class? It's up already on Paul, at Paul's photo at creativephotoacademy.com. So DJ, what light metering do you use? Then you should, then you're a, then you need to come to boot camp. <laughs> it's a very simple question. And it does, is that, is that the question that always works, right? Yes. Yeah, so you guys have to remember that I am teaching class two to three nights every single week um, with the boot camp, with other classes that we're doing, with the adva with advanced. Um, yes, July, June and July are posted. You can sign up right now for, for those, Gene, uh, Gino. Yeah, perfect. 
Any other questions there? So Maria, no, you can program practice in any mode. If you're a manual photographer, an aperture priority photographer, or a shutter priority photographer, that's fine. But you have to remember that some of the people coming to boot camp are only auto people. They've only used the camera in the green square. So to ask them to go to aperture priority, I know there would be blood all over the floor and we don't want that. So we go one step at a time. We go for them to program mode. If you're an aperture priority photographer, stay at aperture priority. And in lesson one, we'll learn to control the shutter speed in aperture priority. So no, Ada Lee, if you're good in, in raw, stay in raw, baby. You know, once again, most of the boot campers are not Photoshop or Lightroom people. You know, they're still using iPhoto and stuff like that. So if you're a raw shooter, stay with raw because raw is much better. You know, we'll get there. Good. Any other questions, guys? Come on. Oh, new messages. Yep. Any other questions? <laughs> Heather says blood is never good. Well, sometimes please. So uh, what do you mean, J Jana? What do you mean more options? No, oh, more time slots, you know, that's the reality. You know, so I know that Roger, you asked if there's a waiting list, you know, Janice, send me and give me a call. Um, tomorrow we'll see if anybody, if anybody does drop out, we'll slide you in. Um, uh, you should, you should hand in your assignments as soon as you can, Maria. I've already got about half the classes questionnaire sitting on my desk. So whenever you get a chance to do that. Any other questions? So Susan, what do you have to tell? Yeah, so scan an email back. Yes, whatever, that's fine. You know, some people have an editor that can edit on the uh, PDF. That's, you know, either way, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Ardina. Yeah, so call at the store. Tomorrow. No, I'm not gonna answer the phone tonight. So, so Susan, do you have any parting words for everybody? I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody learn their cameras and those light bulbs go on and enjoy, I will enjoy watch, seeing their pictures and helping them as much as I can. Looking forward cool. to it. Yep. So Jennifer asks, so I will go over the modes. Absolutely. That's the kind of stuff we learn in boot camp is what are the modes? What are the shutter speeds? What are the ISOs? What are the f-stops and how do we use it? Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, Gabe. Awesome. Cool. Very cool. I'm glad you're excited. Joy, any parting words? You're in for a fun roller coaster ride and just awesome. relax and enjoy it. Yep. 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 You know, so we've been doing boot camp a long time. We've really got it down. The online platform is rocking. Um, for those of you who haven't signed up yet, let's get you going. I'm excited to have all of you part of the program. And, you know, because you start out with boot camp, then you start doing the Photoshop and Lightroom and you're an intermediate and hopefully we'll be able to have the photo walks and night walks back soon. And then you're going to Yosemite with us or to Africa with us. And how fun is that? So um, I'm very excited, very excited. Any other questions? Yes, Africa. So I have, so Heather, I have led 10 safaris to Africa and you and Mr. Heather are welcome to join us as in, as in everybody. I had two women in the store today that are so excited about going to Africa with us. And we're, we're supposed we're scheduled for Africa for July this year. And it's not probably not going to happen. Um, I don't know if we'll be safe enough to go. I don't know if we'll have enough time to put a trip together. But um, certainly in 2022, I, 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 I'm, I'm missing my elephant time, you know. So, great, Margie, I'm glad you're excited. <laughs> exactly, Gino. And that's the premise of boot camp is getting it right in the camera. But just like, you know, I'll go back to the example of the steaks, guys. If you want to eat a good steak, 
if going to the market and buying a great piece of meat is not enough, but you have to buy a great piece of meat if you want to eat a great steak, because you're going to take that great piece of meat and take it home and season it and tenderize it and cook it just right so it's perfect. That's what photography is about for me. I'm not one of those who goes to the market and buys a bad steak and hopes to season it enough to make it good because you can never make it good. That's what the people who rely on Photoshop and Lightroom to make great pictures. They never make great pictures. Great pictures start in the mind, then they come to the camera, and then we bring them to co the computer to bring out to season them and cook the pictures so that they come out perfect hanging on the wall. So, Joy, did I ask you what, what your, uh, did, you, did you find your, your final words, Joy, did I, or did I cut you off on that? No, you asked me. All right, good. All right, gang, any other questions? I'm gonna give you the five second countdown. Yes, Gino, just like Ansel Adams. And in fact, in September, we went to Ansel Adams' darkroom on one of our photo trips. It was awesome. We had that perfect window in there when COVID was kind of down. We went to Monterey. It was fantastic. So we're going to do that again. So five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming tonight. I'm so excited for to have you in boot camp, whether it's in January or, or March or June. Have fun. Thank you, guys. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Joy. Thank you.